Meghan Markle's half-sister Samantha Markle slammed her estranged sister in a recent interview, saying that Meghan and her husband Prince Harry will never compare to the Kardashians. Since stepping away as senior royals of the British royal family, Meghan and Prince Harry have signed a mega deal with Netflix that includes making movies, television programs, and even podcasts. While many liken them to the Kardashians' clan, owing to their own lucrative deal with Disney+, Meghan's sister Samantha told The Daily Star, they're not the Kardashians, that's comparing apples to oranges. She went on to add, the Kardashians were an American business empire and everyone knows their background, so totally different who evaded royal duties and broke off from the royal family creating a lot of controversies. If you mean by the Kardashians by just wealthy, there are so many wealthy families, I don't think they would be the right comparison, she further said. Samantha then called Meghan and Harry out for leaving the royal family and demanding royal protocol, saying, they certainly seem to want to be a Hollywood couple but they made the choice to leave the royal family and that means when you leave royal duty, you don't get the benefits that conveys, whether it's titles or all of the perks, you know, it's crazy. It's just like a police officer leaving the police force, saying I quit and then still wanting a badge and a squad car to ride around in, that's the simplest analogy I can come up with, Samantha said. But they made the choice to leave the royal family and that means when you leave royal duty, you don't get the benefits that convey, whether it's titles or all of the perks, you know, it's crazy. It's just like a police officer leaving the police force, saying I quit and then still wanting a badge and a squad car to ride around in, that's the simplest analogy I can come up with. Samantha spoke about the speculation that the royal family had yet to meet Meghan and Harry's daughter, Lilibet Diana. She said, it's such a mystery and it's bad for Her Majesty after Lilibet was named after her but the problem is that Meghan and Harry have created a situation where it's very awkward and uncomfortable for them to go back. If Lilibet and Archie don't get to meet the royal family well that was their parents' decision to create the situation that made that difficult. It was notable that they said their new podcasts, branded as Archul Audio will feature stories of hope and compassion from inspirational guests and spoke of the power of podcasting to uplift people. This very much fits with what we know of the couple's clear goals to be a force for good in the world. But spiritual independence, if we may call it that, was always going to need to be built upon a scaffold of wealth. Practical considerations include the Sussex's security costs alone, which are likely to be well in excess of $1 million per year based on a five-person protection team. Harry and Meghan understood this from the get-go as the website on which they originally published the very first iteration of their plans for stepping back from frontline royal duties made clear. It mentioned, repeatedly, their intention to earn their own money and be financially independent. Well, there is no denying that they have secured access to an enviable financial firehose via their deals with the two streaming giants. And those deals place them, for the next few years of their life at least, very firmly in the lane marked entertainment. Jim Janowitz, a veteran entertainment lawyer and a senior partner at Pryor Cashman in New York, told the Daily Beast, to be crass about it, they have a considerable need for revenue. They do already have substantial wealth, but I suspect they have a lifestyle that is beyond the average to support. So, if they want to get into this field, they don't want to go about it in a small way. They don't want to be developing shows and pitching them.